Hey guys, Tetsuo here. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to make animated textures for Half-Life 1. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, the standard texture rules apply, meaning that it needs to be an 8-bit bitmap in powers of 2. So what I've done is I've created uh, these red and green squares, uh, animated frames, and you prefix them with uh, a plus zero underscore texture name. So um, there's going to be numbers and letters, and the number is going to be an on state, and a letter is going to be an off state. Um, but actually, those really don't matter because whichever texture you apply to the face first will get displayed and animated first. So let me demonstrate. Uh, let's open up Wally, -E and I'll show you just kind of what this looks like in Wally. -E. Uh, actually, it's in. So I have this Tet Anim mod, and I just kind of drag and drop them all in there from the Explorer, and that's really all there is to it. So plus zero through plus six is the green, and plus A through plus G is the red. And I have a map and sledge here, and these two panels are just funk walls with a name. So the green one is named Panel, and the red one is named Panel 2. And I have two buttons here set to toggle and don't move this one is triggering this panel and this other button is triggering this panel so you're gonna walk up and the buttons just gonna trigger the funk wall and it's gonna swap the textures so let's see what that looks like so I'm in game here actually no this is raw so give it a quick compile map animate so you can see it's cycling through from the top left going down coming back up to the top right and then turning off and if I hit the button here it'll swap between states and this will go for any texture so you can do this with any sort of triggering you can make like a flickering light or something um, quite quite easy to do that uh, so notice how the one on the left starts green and the one on the right starts red. And they both start in the top left. So they're animating at the same frame rate. And I just want you guys to know that it doesn't matter which frame you start this at. So if I make this the green one in the top right, they're always going to start from frame zero when they start to animate. They're not going to animate out of sync like this. You would need two separate textures to achieve this effect. So notice how they're in sync now because that's just how it works. So that's a quick little look into animated textures. And um, again, if you want me to do anything else, want to explore any other tactics and mapping techniques or animating, uh, whatever, let me know. Thanks for watching.